Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Go Dynamic IT. As you can see in the video, I have received an email which has a hyperlink on it. And when I try to click on it, that hyperlink, it's opening in this email client. You know that Windows had a default email client, but it's not opening in the Outlook. So let's dive into this video and set Outlook as a default program for handling all the email links, right? So let's click on this confirm again. And when you see that, it says that it's opening in the email client. So to fix that problem, what we have to do is we have to go to go to run and then inside the run we have to type settings and we have to go to settings inside the settings we have to go and select on the apps so once you click on the app you have to find it out that mails and calendar in the list so let's try to find this mails and calendar this list is a uh, you know, it depends on your uh, Windows uh, uh, application, how many applications which you have installed on it. But let's try to scroll it down and quickly find it out that mail and uh, calendar here. And if you're not able to find it to, through this list, if your list is large list, what then you can what you can do is you can search through this app and features and you can see when you type the mail here it shows you this mail and calendar select on uninstall and this program will be uninstalled from this computer so let's close this uh, uh, window and once you back to your outlook now when you try to click on the hyperlink it will ask you to which application to use so you can select here outlook so you can see when you select the outlook now it will show you the proper formatting of or you can see the hyperlink properly ready to send your email so this is how you can solve the problem of your hyperlink issue or you can see that you can see that uh, making this outlook as a default program for any application so you can after fixing the problem just close your outlook and after closing the outlook reopen it and once you reopen it, try to reconfirm it, whether the confirmation button is working or not. Sometime you know, um, it will cache some information so that way it, it won't work. So it's better to uh, reconfirm it. So in my case, I just close the Outlook, reopen it. And when I click on the confirm, and once I click on the confirm, it's working fine. It's working good. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, query or any feedback related to this video, please do let me know in the comment box. Thank you very much for watching the video.